Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about New York City. We're going to do this because I saw something that was just so bizarre to me. Um, I always poke fun when people come down here or go to rural areas and they see something that is just incredibly common but doesn't happen in cities, and, you know, they're shocked by it. This is the opposite. I saw footage of sanitation workers in New York City trashing a produce stand, throwing the food away, okay? That's just so weird to me. Um, That is abnormal. You know, buying veggies and fruit out of the back of a pickup truck is incredibly common where I'm at. I buy my seafood out of the back of a pickup truck. And to my knowledge, there's not like permitting involved in any of this on on the seller's end. Um, So I just found it odd. And I tweeted about it and made some comments about it. And people were just like, you know, this is the permitting process. They have to do this to ensure food safety. That's where I kept going to. And people kept bringing up cantaloupes and what happened back in 2011. And I don't know if maybe some politician up there mentioned this as a way of justifying the behavior. But we need to talk about that for a second. (laughs) Because that happened uh, in 2011. If you don't know, there was a listeria outbreak traced back to cantaloupes. 28 states, 147 cases, 33 people did not recover. It was a big deal. The cantaloupes came from Jensen Farms, who had a food safety audit six days before this happened and scored uh, a 96 out of 100. Now, sure, the FDA said, oh, well, we need our auditors to do a better job. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, But the reality is most food safety stuff like this, it's theater. It's theater. It's like taking off your shoes at the airport. It's not really that effective, but it makes everybody feel better, you know. Um, I I think that's important to note that generally what keeps uh, the food safe is the fact that it's really bad business if your customers get sick, especially if they don't recover. They're probably not going to buy from you anymore. Um. So the idea that the vendor permit on the side of the street um, in New York has something to do with food safety is kind of silly to me. And I looked it up, and basically they check the cart before you start selling. And then to my knowledge, from what I can find, they really don't follow up on it very much. So again, it's, it's theater. It's, it's to make people feel better, to boost consumer confidence not really that effective at keeping food safe. Um, and generally speaking, if you're, if it is something that would uh, fail a, a food safety audit, when you go up to buy it, you'll see it in, in most cases. Um, so if it's not about food safety, what is it about? What's it really about? Bringing in money. It's about bringing in money for the city. Or maybe about uh, reducing competition for businesses that are more established. That's really what this is about. You know, it's so surprising to me to see it occur, but then I realize it probably shouldn't be surprising because I've seen, you know, lots of movies where shopkeepers in New York get their shops busted up because they weren't, you know, paying protection money. I mean, kicking up to the boss. I'm they don't have permission of the ruling authority in the area to sell fruit. Uh, This, to me, is a major issue when you are talking about an area that doesn't have a lot of fresh fruit. You know, you're talking about a food desert and a permitting process that is apparently so complex, nonprofits have been started to help people navigate the maze. Um, one that everybody keeps recommending is the Street Vendor Project. I don't know that there is a moral component to this. I don't know that there's a safety component to this. It seems like just a way for the city up there to rake in some money. Now, it is worth noting that the people in the Bronx, um, they had an issue with this occurring as well, and they raised such a ruckus that the sanitation workers could not finish trashing the stand. And when they came back later, well, all the food was gone. 
anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.